back $5.2 trillion. That is how much money the tech industry is on pace to earn this year alone. But here's the question. How many women are getting a piece of that pie right now? Only 25%. That's why a Beaumont teen is banking on her passion and her drive to break barriers. Kelsey Johnson tonight shares how she is taking advantage of a school here in Beaumont to put girls who code on the map. It's no secret that men are more prominent when it comes to STEM related jobs, but Lisbeth Trujillo and her teacher are working to break down those walls and show young women you can do this. Technology, a career field dominated by men. Is there enough space in space for women? Who wrote that? Are people really still asking that question? When we make space for women, we make space for everyone. That was a commercial during the Super Bowl, highlighting the need for girls who code. And that's exactly the kind of barrier this Beaumont team is trying to break. I do believe that we should fight that, of course, but it shouldn't stop anyone from going into that field at all. Lisbeth Trujillo is choosing a career path in computer science. For a dream job, I would uh, particularly like to work for Blizzard. I like the most of their uh, you know, online PC games. Lisbeth is a junior at Beaumont's early college high school. Next May, she will graduate with an associate's degree in hand. For this program I'm in right now, it's helping me uh, achieve my educational plans much faster than in a regular high school. Part of her education is learning about STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Right now in this class, she's learning about coding. Code she's learning if you get the code wrong. <laughs> and teaching at the front of the class, you'll find Marinette Parkerson. We want to break barriers. We want to break stereotypes. She's BISD's coordinator of STEM. All right, so. She knows the importance of technology in today's society. Coding is essential. If you want to work for Facebook. If you want to do create an app, you have to know how to code. Parkerson understands that this field is more prominent for men, but is working to change that. I want to hone in on those girls that feel left out. I want to be able to tell them you can do it. Women have been making strides when it comes to the workforce. A 2018 report by Catalyst shows women make up 47%, but when it comes to tech jobs, only 25% of job holders are women. According to the hiring company Adeva, one reason is because girls are less likely to study STEM subjects in school. It's a statistic Parkerson is wanting to turn around. I am here for you. That's why I come to your school to make sure that you stay dedicated to what your desires are. Elizabeth isn't concerned that men are on the forefront of the tech world because she's confident that she has what it takes to make her mark. Since we were smaller, my parents always raised us with the mindset that we can achieve whatever we want if we really work hard for it. And that's sort of what I'm going into the future with. Parkerson tells me she recently received a $20,000 grant for STEM from ExxonMobil. BISD is hosting a district STEM night and everyone is welcome to come. It's to showcase projects students have been working on. We have the date and time on our website. Kelsey Johnson, 12 News.